Ito ang ating supplemental ideas for teaching Come Follow Me in the Family for the week na November 1 to 7 of 2021. Ito yung overview summary natin for the lesson this week, yung section 125 to 128. Yung section 125, nagbigay lang ng instruction ng Diyos na uh, magtayo sila ng city. Tapos uh, ang pangalan ng city ay Sarahemla. Sa section 126 naman, um, para kay Brigham Young, so sabi lang ng Diyos sa kanya na, It is no more required to leave your family. Take special care of your family. Si Brigham Young kasi palagi ang nasa labas, nagbimission, even nakarating na yan ng uh, Britain. So ngayon, um, hindi na kailangan lumayo pa. Ang sabi sa kanya, take special care of your family. Etong 127 to 128 ay sulat ito ni Joseph Smith para sa mga sa church doon sa Nahubu. So ito ay nagbigay siya ng direction tungkol sa baptism for the dead. Nakareceive kasi siya ng revelation tungkol dito at ngayon sinulat niya para magbigay ng instruction. So sa revelation na ito, uh, sinabi ni Joseph Smith na kailangan pala merong recorder sa baptism for the dead. Itong recorder, siya yung maging eyewitness na rinig niya, nakita niya at isusulat niya na nangyari nga ang baptism for the dead. At yung record niya ay ilalagay doon sa archives of the temple. Then later, in 128, meron siyang additional. Sabi niya, dahil mahirapan daw pag isang recorder lang meron. Ano? So, magtatawag daw ng recorder sa bawat ward of the city. Tapos itong mga recorders na ito. So, tapos, tatawag rin ng general recorder kung saan ang mga iba't ibang recorder ay i-report nila ang kanilang record doon sa general recorder. So now let's learn the doctrine. Sa, section, sa Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, Nakita ni John, ano, sabi niya, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. So, it's like a judgment day. Nakita niya, nabuhay, nandun na yung mga patay. Uh, and merong books na ginamit. No? Books, uh, plural, marami, were open. And another book was open. So, ito isa lang. So, sets of books ito, yung isang set of books, marami, at isa pang, pang book, uh, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Now, in section 128, verse 7 to 8, makikita natin na ito palang books, plural, ay records ito which are kept on the earth concerning their dead. At alam na natin, nakikita din dito na itong another book ay the book of life which is kept in heaven. So, during the judgment day, may two, one set of books na ginagamit gamit to judge the dead. No? Yung records kept on earth at saka yung nasa heaven na, which is the book of life. And in this, uh, in, in the past natin na uh, hmm, lessons, as we learned that yung priesthood keys ay binigay na kay Joseph Smith. Isa na dito yung priesthood keys of sealing power, which which has the uh, the person uh, the power na kung ano yung isulat niya dito i-record niya dito sa mundo marerecord na rin sa heaven so ito yung priesthood keys na meron si Elijah na naibigay na rin niya kay Joseph Smith same thing sa time ni Peter Peter was also so given the priesthood keys na kung ano yung i-record niya sa church sa earth ay marerecord din doon sa heaven. So, this is also the doctrine that we learned that ang priesthood leaders na merong priesthood key, like our prophet, kung ano yung marerecord dito sa mundo, especially about our dead, ay marerecord din doon sa heaven. And this set of books, the books and another book, ito yung gagamitin to judge the dead. Okay? So, now, Gawa tayo ng activity. Okay? We're going to have an activity. So, just ready your journal or notebook. So, gagawa tayo ng activity ngayon. Ay, ikaw pala. So, 
Find a word or words that tells you why you should take baptism for the dead seriously. Okay, so hanapin mo yung word or words na yan. Ano, dito mo hanapin sa Doctrine and Covenants section 128, 15-18. Pwede yung markahin, markahin mo na lang sa sarili mong scripture or dyan sa gospel uh, library mo. You can also do some markings. Or isulat mo na lang sa notebook mo or sa journal. So, habang gagawin mo yan, what you're going to do is just pause this video. Gawin mo na yung activity. Nakapause mo na. No? So, pag tapos na, then play the video again once you completed the activity. Okay? Sige, pause mo na. Tapos play mo na pag tapos na. Thank you for completing the activity. Now, let's take a look on the scriptures. Most likely, we found the same words. O baka meron ka pang nahanap na hindi rin nababanggit dito. Ano? So, nahanap mo rin ba ito? So, cannot be lightly passed over. Ibig sabihin, ang baptism for the dead, kaya seryosoin natin yan. Kasi hindi yan pwedeng ibaliwala lang. Na it's a small thing or ordinary lang lang, saka na lang yan, last priority na lang yan. Dapat seryosuhin talaga, no? And it, sa verse 15 pa rin, nakasabi, necessary and essential to our salvation. Can you see? Talagang dapat seryosuhin natin. Kasi nakasalalay ang ating salvation dyan sa paggawa ng trabaho na ito. Ito rin sinabi ni Elijah, ano na, sabi ng Diyos, kung wala man daw gagawing baptism for the dead or work, temple works for the dead, sabi niya, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Ganon kaseryoso ito, ano, the earth, God will curse the earth if nobody will do this. Another reason na bakit seryosohin talaga natin yung baptism for the dead kasi necessary in the ushering in of the dispensation of the fullness of times. So sa umpisa pa lang, kaya nga bago uh, fully restore ang church, uh, the Lord sent Elijah again. Sabi niya, I will send Elijah before the coming of the great and dreadful day. Kaya when the church was restored, Later, sumunod na yung restoration of the keys. Kasi part siya of ushering in the in of the dispensation of the fullness of time. Ito, welding together of dispensations. So, yung ordinances sa temple, kasama na yung baptism for the dead, hindi lang pala yung mga tao, kinoconnect together. Pati yung mga dispensation from the time ni Adam, connect-connect na rin yun through these temple ordinances. And it, the term used Joseph Smith is like a welding. So, ano pang nahanap mo? Um, hindi lang naman yun ang word or words na makikita doon na masasabi na tayo. Ito yung rason kaya dapat seryosohin na natin itong baptism for the dead. So, thank you very much sa pag-search mo and Thank you for spending time, making time for the Lord through this um, Come Follow Me program. So now, I'd like you to ponder on this. So ito yung nabanggit kanina, no, there's a book. Books, plural. And we learned that ito yung record na nasa mundo concerning the dead. So these are temple ordinances for the dead. Now, I have a question here. Ikaw ba ay willing na maging contributor sa book na ito. Thank you. Narinig ko, you said yes. So, para maging contributor tayo sa libro na ito, kailangan gumawa tayo ng baptism for the dead and other temple works. Di ba napakagandang pakinggan sa Judgment Day, nandun tayo, tapos meron kang feeling pag open sa book, Uy, kasama pa ako nag-contribute sa book na yan. I submitted names, I perform temple ordinances. So, now, gagawa tayo ng action plan at saka goal. 
So we have a desire to become contributor of that book. So what's your action plan and goal? So again, ipost mo muna itong video para isulat mo ang yung action plan and goal. I'd like to emphasize action, hindi lang plan. Kasi ang plan pwede lang isulat pero hindi lang mga action. So pag sinabi na itong action plan, talagang may gagawin talaga. Eh. Hindi lang siya plano. So what's your action plan and goal to become contributor to the books na nabanggit kanina? Play the video again once you completed your action plan and goal. Okay, pause this video for a while. Okay, natapos mo na ba ang iyong action plan and goal? Kung hindi, you can continue to do that later. Now, here's a sample of an action plan and goal. Action plan, every first Sunday, spend time finding names in familysearch.org. Relative natin na pwedeng ma-perform na ng temple ordinances, especially baptism for the dead. Goal. Pag nahanap na yun, isubmit ang name to the temple every quarter. Or, kung kaya naman, perform baptism for the dead at least once a year. So, pwedeng yung pangalan na nahanap mo, ikaw na lang pumunta sa temple para ikaw na mismo ang i-baptize kung parehas kayo ng parehas kayong lalaki o parehas kayong babae. Or pwede rin kung halimbawa, wala ka talagang mahanap or whatever reason na hindi mo nagawa, gawin mo nalang goal na pumunta ka sa temple and perform baptism for the dead. Whether ang pangalan ay pangalan ng relative mo or hindi. So in that way, we, be, we can help in the work of the Lord. So we become contributor to the books that are open concerning the record of the dead. Thank you for your time, enjoy your learning, and even ponder, continue to ponder after your study.